Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Uh, market has actually already been open and I've already taken a trade, um, but um, did not capture that on video. And sorry, as I speak right now, you can see this. Okay, I gotta get ready for another potential trade. There we go. Let's go. 47. So looking for another trade here. I'm looking to do options. If you don't know what options are, just comment below option guide and I'll link you to a free uh, class to put together called the big basis of options. It'll walk you through how they work, terminology. Don't be intimidated. I know sometimes people have a uh, um, they get very intimidated by options. They hear it and they can be made very intimidating. They can be made very complicated. Don't get me wrong. So you're not crazy for thinking that, uh, but they don't need to be made that way. I approach them in more of a simple way. So if that's how you like to approach things, uh, then I'm confident you'll find value in that guide. So again, just comment down below option guide. All right, I will pause and I'll keep a close eye on it. And the way my screen works right now is I'm watching that number. And I want to see that number go down to 44 because that is where I'm looking to buy. Actually, go slightly below 44 so that I get filled. And I'll you'll know that I when I get filled if that white line right there changed to green. So that is how my platform is working. We'll see if it can work its way up there. I will pause. Have an order at 42. Okay, gonna go to 39 now. Got that at 39 and out at 41 for a nice $200 move. And that lasted, oh, I don't know. I guess I can give you the answer to that because these are the execution times. So three seconds, bought at 942.23, sold at 942.26 for $200. So $200, I get it, sounds like a scam. It's not a scam though. All right, I gotta stop talking. Uh, let's go to 47 here. So if this wants to keep coming up, I'll be ready for another one. All right, I will pause. So I'm glad I captured that one, <clears throat> excuse me, that one. So now I'm up, uh, it's 9.43, so 13 minutes in, up $300. I'm not a greedy savage. That's kind of crazy money when you really just stop and think about it. You know, even if you make 50 bucks an hour, let's just say $100 an hour, to have $300 in 13 minutes, sounds like a scam. It's not, I mean, but I can completely see somebody thinking that's a scam, but yeah, that's, uh, like I said, got to keep things in perspective. All right, I will pause and let's see if I can find another trade. I have an order at 47 here for a put. Still got to come up a ways, but this is a quick mover. So again, watching this number down here. It has been very, very uh, frustrating. It is now 1040. So the morning started off so quick. What was it like? It was like, what, 13 minutes, I think? I was up 300 and then nothing since then. And it's not a matter of me kind of walk, you know, going away from my computer, hanging out with my kids. No, no, I've been locked in. I've been searching. Um, so it's it really goes to show that that's kind of how the market goes sometimes. It can start off just guns a blazing. You can be feeling like a million bucks and then just somebody slams on the brakes and it's just like, you know, it does get frustrating. So that's where I, I'm, I'm playing it extra careful right now. Nita. I'm, I'm aware that I'm feeling a little annoyed, a little frustrated. So I want to make sure that I'm not just, you know, forcing a trade or something like that. So if this thing can come up and, and fill me up around the $47 mark, that would be good. And that would, I would not consider that a, a forced trade or anything like that. But yeah, as traders, we always got to be in touch with the, the voices in our head and the voices in my head right now are, are annoyed. How can you have started off so good and now it's been so long since you've had your last trade? What you know? What are you doing? Go make a trade. You're a trader, aren't you? You know all the, all those voices. 
All right, I will pause, but I'll keep a close eye on it. Okay, I have an order at 4720. It's close for a second. Nope, I do not like how it's just putzing around there at all. So at this point, I'm gonna play a break to the upside. I, know, I realize it seems like I'm far away, and maybe I am too far away, but like I said, I'm on guard now because I want to make sure these aren't just annoyance entry points, but they're actually quality entry points. So we'll see at this point if it wants to break up through that white line or not. I'll pause. I have an order at 58, and I'm in at 58 for a put and out for $50 there very quickly. I'm not sure if I, I think I captured the entry point you can scroll back and that should have been white for just a second. I got filled and then got out there at 58.50. So just a very, very fast $50 move. Potentially a forced trade, but I'm not gonna say a, one with zero cents because you can see it's hesitating right now. It, it's definitely not going up, going back and forth. So I'm not totally confident to see it come down, but I was confident enough where I could capture a little bit within this little, and there we go. So I gotta stop talking. And that's more the move I was looking for. So let me, there we go, 47. So let's see if this thing can push up through 484. I will go ahead and pause. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and call it good. We're 90 minutes in. So, and I'm, I, you know, I, I realize I sound like a greedy, undetached savage because I'm just d disappointed with today. Um, and I get it, 90 minutes, $350. Why is this guy complaining with commissions? Let's call it 340. Um, and I understand that, and you're right, I am being a little detached, but yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's frustrating when a day starts off so fast, and then it takes that long to get a $50 trade. Um, granted, it was $50 in three seconds. Again, I realize that makes me sound greedy, um, but yeah, I'm just not in a good headspace now, uh, and when you're not in a good headspace, uh, that's okay. Uh, it becomes not okay when you keep trading if you're not in a good headspace. So the key to trading is being aware and being honest with yourself to admit, you know, I'm not in a good headspace. And if you can acknowledge that, that will save you so many more headaches in the long run. Ask me know how I feel because there's been plenty of times where I've traded not in the right headspace. And, uh, you know, what, what's kind of leading me off to that is that last $50 trade again, was it some sort of like the total degenerate, no logic at all gamble? No, but was that like a pristine, pristine setup? No, it really wasn't. It really wasn't. And maybe I knew that in the back of my mind. That's why I was just going for the $50 instead of 100 or 200 or something like that. Um, but uh, irregardless, I need to just be done because I am not in a good headspace. And that's uh, that happens from time to time. And uh, you saw kind of the evolution of that. Started off so, so crisp, so, so good. And then big old... Now, I realize for you, it just seemed like a jump cut. But for me, it was like 40 minutes of, of, of essentially nothing even close to wanting or you know hitting the record button. Uh, and then after all that, you know, still just fifty dollars. So, um, not in a good headspace. That's where I'm. And maybe that's where I'll end it. Ended in a not in a good headspace. I don't. I'll I'll try to think of some sort of uh, title to uh, summarize this. But so that's all I have for you. I am going to move on. So all things considered, I'll take it. Ninety minutes, three hundred forty dollars. Not many places in the world where you can make that sort of money. And again, if you want to learn more about options comment down below option guide and I will link you to that free class. And also, if you wanna learn more about charts and what I'm doing here to make the decisions with technical analysis, I do offer a free webinar uh, and I'll talk about, I'm gonna change to another video right now and I'll tell you how you can get signed up and reserve your seat. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans. 
making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key when you hear it sounds way too good, way too good to be true, but it's not and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.